Stanford resident Jamie Krug and her family have a special saying for Stanford Hospital. We say it saved our son's life twice. At the hospital, her now four-year-old son was born five weeks premature. He ended up needing chest tubes. Um, he coded multiple times, the first time being in my husband's arms, the first time my husband held him. After being transferred to a different hospital, they brought their son back into the care of Stanford doctors a second time. Stanford Hospital was the place that diagnosed him with having had a stroke in utero, which, as tragic as that was, the fact that he had this incredible early detection, um, he was able to, it was able to give him the opportunity to have therapy and the medical intervention that was necessary to give him the quality of life that he will now have. Wanting to give back, she and her husband volunteer with the hospital's Dream Ball event. It raises funds for important patient programs and services and is coming up Saturday. The event usually raises somewhere between seven hundred fifty and $900,000, which is, it's incredible. Those funds benefit services like tech technology necessary to save babies, like Krug's son, in the neonatal intensive care unit. He has um, cerebral palsy and he has autism, but I can't tell you enough um, how much that early intervention really helps. If it wasn't for Stanford Hospital, like I said, we don't know that he would be walking as well as he, as he is. We don't know that he would be talking to the extent that he is, and so... It's, there's something to be said for that, obviously. The Dream Ball will take place at the hospital's Tully Health Center November 2nd, starting at 6 p.m. For more information, visit dreamball.org. Christina Chiarelli, itsrelevant.com.